Here are the two items I had to pick up for this project. The, uh, the cable is just a standard telephone cable that I picked up from my home improvement store. Uh, some of these uh, telephone cables will have six wires in them and some will have four. It turns out four is adequate because the outer two pins aren't used. So on my cable, you can see the six gold pins here, uh, right here. And the other end of this particular cable has four pins only. So, uh, you know, you can use either. But four is adequate. So just purchase a telephone cable with an RJ11 or an RJ12 connector on either end. The other thing I had to pick up was an adapter to attach to the telephone cable and to go out to a DB9 uh, connection. And that's, um, that's this thing. This accepts the telephone cable. Come on, we can barely see it. Into that end. And on this end, we have to configure the wiring. And that was the beauty of this particular part for this project. You push the uh, connection to each wire into the back of the plastic adapter. And let me brighten that up a tad so that you can see it. You can see there that I have attached the green wire on this adapter into pin 5 on the DB9. And I've attached the red wire to the third pin on the DB9 connector. And we have the black wire, which of course is hardest to see, on pin 2 of the DB9. So when you're counting connections on the back of the DB9 socket, you start from here. This is number 1. And on this particular part, there's a tiny 1 printed on the plastic right here. So this is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, unconnected and five. So this particular part is uh, made by Networks, N-E-T-W-R-X. It is a Networks Modular Adapter Kit, DB9 Female to RJ11, RJ12. Um, once you break um, the connection apart like this, you can see that there are other wires stuffed down inside of the plastic shell. Those are the wires that are not connected for the Nexus DSC. So I only needed these three, pins 2, 3, and 5. And these simply push firmly into the plastic connector so that when you attach a DB9 to USB connection to your computer, you can plug the USB connection and get the completed circuit. Now, in my uh, case, I already had this available. Uh, it's a key span. Uh, let's see, I think it's a, ninth, a USB to serial adapter. It's made now by Triplight, but they maintain the Keyspan uh, product name. At any rate, you can see the green lights working. I have it attached to a USB port, which supplies power. And you can see the male pins for the DB DB9 connection there. So once we have completed this wiring, we need to attach the port into the shell, secure it. We can connect it with the key span adapter. 
And then the uh, modular telephone wire goes into the back of that. And that completes uh, the cabling for using with Deep Sky Planner. So you're going to connect this in to the Nexus device. And that's all we need. So we can uh, now transmit push to instructions to Nexus over all this cabling. Uh, my total investment here, since I had the Keyspan adapter, was a couple of dollars for uh, the telephone cable, and I ordered the DB9 to RJ11 adapter from Amazon for about seven and a half dollars. So I think this entire cable cost me less than $10. So that's all there is to it. This connection works fine for me. I hope it will for you.